Do you want to be able to make transitions like this in iMovie? Hi, I'm Diz, and in this video, we're gonna be using the iMovie and Kino apps to make some transitions using green screen. iMovie and Kino are both free apps. iMovie is a very good video editing app, and Keynote is fantastic for making slides and transitions. So in this video, we're gonna combine the two, mash them up, and make an awesome green screen transition effect. And if you like videos like this one and videos on YouTube tips and strategies and the best apps to help you get online with video, consider subscribing and also hit the bell icon and you won't miss out on future videos. Right, let's get started. There are many transitions you can do inside of Keynote, in this video, I'm going to show you a basic transition and how you can apply it to iMovie. You can also apply this to text and objects, which I'll show you in future videos. iMovie is a good app, but is limited compared to some others, so that's why we're going to use Keynote to create some transition effects. In this video, we're going to be using two clips to transition. We're going to have our main clip and we're going to have our clip we want to transition to. I'm going to show you the steps. I'm going to jump on the phone. I'm going to show you right now. I've got my two clips ready, they're in my camera roll. Now I'm gonna open the Keynote app and let's create some magic. Once you have the Keynote app opened, under Choose Theme, select Wide, then select White. Now tap the text and delete it, as we don't need it for this example. Now tap on the plus button and then tap on the image icon and select the green rectangle from your camera roll. Now, you can download this green background from the link in the description to make it easier for you, or you can search Google for a green background. We now need to add a blue background, so tap on the plus button again, and select the blue image from your camera roll, and again, for convenience, I have added a link to the blue rectangle so you can download. Or alternatively, you can search Google for a blue, but make sure it's a darker blue. Now drag the blue rectangle to cover all of the green. Now I'm going to animate the blue rectangle. To do this, tap on the three dots on the top right and then transition and blinds or tap the blue rectangle and select animate. If you're holding your phone vertically, then tap the arrow next to the delete button and the animate button will appear. At the bottom of the screen, it may say add animation. If so, tap add animation, or you may have three other buttons, which are add build in, add action, add build out. If you see add animation, tap it. Under the build in, make sure none is selected at the top. Under the actions, make sure none is selected at the top here. And at the build out stage, we can select whichever we want. I'm gonna select crumble. You can select flame or confetti or diffuse. For this example, I'm gonna select crumble. So I tap on crumble, then tap done on the top right. In the bottom right, it should say crumble. If you tap here, you can then select the duration of the crumble. I'm setting mine to 2.25 seconds. You can adjust the time by placing your finger on the slider and adjusting the time up and down to suit. On the duration, it will say left to right. You can select whichever way you want it to crumble. I'm gonna leave it as it is. Underneath, on the left and under start, select after transition and make sure the delay time is set to 0.00. .00. Tap the arrow here or tap anywhere on the screen to exit the build out. Now tap on done on the top right. Tap the three dots and then tap the gray export button. Tap on movie and make sure the minimum resolution is 1080p. Make sure the rest of the settings are the same as on the screen here and tap on the export button on the top right. Once this is finished rendering, just tap the save video button in the pop-up window. Now let's open up iMovie and then press the plus button and select a movie. Now what we want to do here is select the main clip that we want. Tap on your main clip, it will have a check mark by it when you tap it. Then at the bottom of the screen, tap Create Movie. Now I'm going to select our green blue screen transition, which we created in Keynote, and add it to the exact position where I want the transition. You can scrub through the clip with your finger and define where exactly you want the transition to appear. Tap the plus button, highlight the clip, and then press the three dots that will appear on the right. In the pop-up, you will see green, blue screen. Tap here and it will add it to the location that we set. Now, if you scrub through the video, you should see the green screen has gone. We should have the blue screen left, but we're not done yet. We need to export this clip. Now what we need to do is to export this clip. Tap on done at the top left. 
Let's select the share button at the bottom here and save the video. Once the video is saved, you can then tap the edit button and then delete the clips from the existing timeline and then add the video that you want to transition. So in this case, I'm going to add the second video. Remember we had two videos. I'm gonna add the second video that I want to transition to. Not the clip with the main blue screen that we just created. Now we need to find a new location in the video where we want the transition to happen. Once you have the location, tap on the plus button, find the newly exported video which we created, the one with the transition in, add it to the video. Tap on the plus button, then tap the three dots and then click the blue green screen, add it to the exact location where you need the transition. You probably notice there might be extra at the beginning of the clip, which we don't need. So I'm gonna pinch zoom out, stretch the timeline, locate the beginning of the blue screen, go to the beginning of the solid blue and then highlight it and then tap the split button at the bottom. Now highlight the unwanted portion of video and press delete. Scrub through the video and see if you can see the transition. If not, tap the blue area and then tap auto. In the iMovie app, the bottom clip, the audio may still be playing. So what we need to do is tap the bottom clip or a little way in if you like, detach the audio from the bottom of the video and fade it out. In this example, I'm going to select the bottom clip, select the scissors icon and click the video and then tap on detach. This will detach the audio. I'm going to cut off part of the audio from the right hand side of the video and then I'm going to slide the fader to fade out. This will give the appearance of the video audio fading out, one video fading into another. This is a much better effect than just the audio just dropping suddenly. Once you've played around with the audio and you're happy with the transition and where it comes in, you can export the final video. You can also add some extra tracks. For example, you can add some music, some sound effects to the video. For example, I'm gonna add a whoosh sound between the transition. This will slightly distract from the main transition effect and make it seem more seamless. Adding extra audio to video is called sound design and I'm going to cover more detailed sound design in future videos. So if there's something you're interested in, consider subscribing and hit the bell icon so you won't miss a future video. Now you're ready to export your final clip and share it with the world. If you found this video helpful, consider giving it a thumbs up. Please subscribe so I can deliver more videos just like this one to help entrepreneurs, businesses, individuals, and creators just like yourself get online with video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.